Ace money to name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks, as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a B&E with handicappers. So it's a SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. What's going on? It's Ace Money for Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, July 6th, 2024. We've got two games on the slate, but this video is only going to be for one. It's late Friday night. There's only uh, lines out for the Liberty Fever game. It's a 1 o'clock game. Uh, Liberty is the favorite. Opened up at minus 7. Jumped up a little bit. It's minus 9.5, minus 9. Over under 168. Started at. Bumped up a couple points, uh, 173, you can find it at. And then, uh, like I said, Liberty, they started at minus 320. That's it's up to almost 500, 480. So with that over on the bumping up, it's kind of a good sign. There'll be some points. Uh, hopefully we get a, a decent game. I'm feeling obviously that, not obvious, but I'm feeling Liberty's going to take it. FIBA's coming off a few days rest, and uh, they have been playing better. They're getting a little, you know, they had some time to practice. So they had a rough schedule in the beginning, a bunch of young people too. So they're getting a little groove on, but they're not going to take the liberty. That's not going to happen. But uh, just hoping it ain't a blowout and we can get uh, these girls to play in the fourth quarter so we can complete these props. Had a heck of a day. Bounce back like a basketball. I needed that. We needed that. But uh, let's get into these. Ace Money, the name, getting paid for the game. All right, so uh, first up, going back to Laney Hamilton. Uh, points, rebounds, and assists over 20 and a half. Minus 125 on FanDuel. Indiana is 11th in points allowed. That's almost last 12 teams. Rebounds, middle of the pack, they're fifth. And assists allowed, they're 10th. So both two of those categories are pretty bad. And uh, Hamilton does it all. Some days, he's a good scorer, a good three-point shooter. Uh, she plays defense. She passes the ball as well as rebounds. You can look here. She hurt her ankle. We played her in this game for points. Uh, she, not her ankle, her knee or something, but it wasn't real serious. But she sat a little bit and it just didn't turn out to be a good game. But before that, she had five rebounds, six assists the game before that. Game before that, six assists, three rebounds. Game before that, nine rebounds, five assists. But uh, and the points have been all pretty good, too. 18 points, 13, 12, 12. So they got her points line at, like, it's juggling from what I should do. They got her points line at 11 and a half. And maybe I should do just do that, but... I mean, she didn't go over it that day because... She sat more. She didn't play as many minutes. So, but she's gone over it a lot. But just in case her points are, uh, she has a, a situation like that. I'm thinking, or I did play it actually. Points, rebounds, assists. Now for the year, 61% she's gone over this. For the year, she's averaging 22 points, rebounds, assists, and the line's at 20 and a half. Uh, besides that last game right there, she's cleared this four, five, six, seven, eight. She's cleared it nine times in a row. Uh, I'm sure it says something down there. She's exceeded 20 and a half PRA in nine of the last 10 games, averaging 23 and a half. Plays plenty of minutes. Uh, shooting 46% from the field, 39 from threes, 90 from the foul line. 
they played back uh, in the beginning of the month. She had 20 points, 5 assists. So she had 27 PRA. She cleared this. It's the only time they played this year. No, I'm lying. They played two more times and she didn't go over this. But she just went over her points. Because they blew them out, 102-66. This game was a lot closer. This game was a blowout. She went over it. I can't take my bet back. I already placed it, and it's on FanDuel, and they don't do uh, cash outs. But uh, if you want, just play your points. I think the game is going to be closer than the previous games. Just cause Indiana's coming off rest. They've been playing better. And it's not just rest. They were able to get some practice in. They're playing in their home court. Um, I think New York will pull away in the fourth. But before then, she should be able to go over this. Points, rebounds, assists, 20 and a half. High hit rate. Last five, eighty percent, last ten, ninety, last twenty, sixty. For the year, sixty one percent. Let's get it. John Carl Jones. Points over fourteen and a half, minus one fifteen. Uh DraftKings. They got it minus one twenty eight on FanDuel, so always make sure you line shop. Multiple books if you're going to be sports betting. Uh, 14 and a half. They got that 15 and a half. I keep it at 14 and a half. Like I always say, if you can all line it and you're spending more money, buy it back two points or so. Excuse me. And uh, high is your chance of hitting it if you notice. We always come close. But uh, Indiana is 11th in points allowed. It's almost last. Um, Jones is a beast. You know, I feel like she's going to have her way with uh, Boston. Boston's in her second year. Son, Indiana. Uh, just feel like she's, she's going to go over it easily. She killed the last game. She had 21 points. Um... Last 20 games, 55%. Last 10, 70% hit rate. She's gone over this. Plays plenty of minutes, over 30 minutes a game. Uh, for the year, shooting 58%. She's averaging six made field goals. Uh, three points, she's shooting 43%. She don't put that many up, but she shoots a couple. She's averaging almost two a game, making a two a game, four attempts. And from the foul line, she's shooting 81%. It's all around ball. She rebounds, plays defense, hustles. She can run the floor. She exceeded 14 and a half points in six of the seven games against the bottom five defense and uh, averaging just over 19 points. So uh, even her median, her average is uh, 16 points for the year, averaging. So, all signs point to go. Head-to-head. Uh, head. Last game, she cleared this. She had 18. The two games before that, she only had 14. But, uh, yeah, I feel like it's, it's, it'll be an easy day for her. She's on her game. I mean, New York did have a couple of days rest, so I mean, it's getting serious. it's getting close to game time. You know, we, we're coming up to the All Star break. All these games are gonna count. Uh, it's not like they all haven't counted, but it's time to lock in and and win that championship this year, especially for Liberty. I mean, I may be biased. I'm a New Yorker. But, yeah, I feel, like I said, Boston, not, she's not going to be able to stop her. She should be able to go over this easily. 
So play number two. Points, 14 and a half, John Quill Jones. Let's get it. 60% for the year, hit rate. I'd like to take this time to ask you if you could like that video. Uh, new viewers, please subscribe. Everyone turn up notifications on. Uh, you get my plays, my live bets, my videos, uh, any news or input I have to change or just put out there, any advice. Uh, for instance, in the community, I dropped two plays today. That I added on to the video. Uh, one of them hit, the other one was the only play we lost today, but uh, it hooked, lost by a half. Well, you can't get a half a rebound, so we really lost by one, but uh, the line was eight and a half, she got eight. But uh, try to be as transparent as possible. I give you everything I got, uh, all these bets and plays I give and tips I use myself personally. Uh, I hope people were watching yesterday and got to place these bets. The, the bets that I put in did real well. Made up for the last two days. We went uh, six and one today. So that was good. Bounced back like a basketball. But uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone. Likes, comments, help get the videos out there. Uh, feedback's well appreciated. I've been showing them head to heads. But I was keeping moving. I got Caitlin Clark over two and a half threes, minus one thirty-five uh, DraftKings. Now most of the year they had this at three and a half, and she wasn't hitting it. She's sporadic. You know she has good games. She has bad games. It's getting better. You know once she bulks up, gets a little weight and a little more strength. She'll be better. Her second, third year, she'll be the Caitlin Clark she was in college. But uh, they're coming off a few days rest. Last game they had was on the second. So, you know, they play, that, they play a few games in a row. Road trips, you know, pretty hectic season. Probably a little, was a little much on her. So... Uh, as well as the, the, the players are much stronger, more physical. It's 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 a whole nother level than what, what it was in college. So she's been having a rough time. But with these couple of days rush to get her legs back in a plus they're playing at home. Um and playing the Liberty, so she's you know, people will play against good teams, try to step up as well. And she's a shooter. We already know she can shoot. So last time she had this many days rest, she uh, she hit seven threes. Played her that day too, actually. Well, this one I played her at the beginning of the month. Three days rest, she hit seven. I didn't play this one, but she went over it too. So every time she had three days rest, she's gone over this. But, uh, yeah, we already know what Caitlin Clark does. I mean, she ain't shooting that great. 34%. She's averaging eight attempts. And she's averaging... Says 2.7, but the actual number is two. But I'm sticking with it. The New York Liberty is uh, sixth in three points allowed, which means, you know, they're okay at defending behind the arc, but they let teams let them shoot them. And... Uh, I just I don't think she's gonna go over it. She's gonna have a five three day. That's what I'm thinking. So we got Caitlin Clark. Head to head of three games. She went over this once. I'm feeling it. Just cause the rest, the home court, and uh that's my biggest thing. The rest in the home court. So let's get it. Caitlin Clark over two and a half threes. All right, last up, uh, Kelsey Mitchell points over 16 and a half. Uh, minus 104. FanDuel, DraftKings is 105. Always find the best odds. I'm going to continue to say that forever. Uh, for the year, what do we got? 
She's averaging 17 points for the year. And 23 last game. These two games before here, she started doing foolish shit. She ended up getting benched. Uh, we did play her one of these games. I think it was this game we played her. And she came back. She got benched most of the first half. And they put her in in, like, the fourth quarter. And she had she had missed a couple shots, too. And then uh, she scored the 14 in the fourth, or, like, 12. But they kind of worked out the kinks, the little issues they were having. And then she came back on the second and dropped 23. She's a baller. She used to uh, control the team before Clark got there. I think they're having a little power struggle because they... I mean, Caitlin is the point guard. She got to control the ball anyway, but I don't know. I guess it's immaturity. She's got to learn to deal with it. Uh, Mitchell has exceeded 16.5 points in four of the last five games at home, averaging 19 points. For the year, she's shooting 43%. Uh, 40% from three-point, averaging over two, uh, it says 2.4 threes a game, and she's shooting 80% from the foul line. I'm sure if I break it down to 10 games, the average will go up to 17 and a half. Um... Head to head. Out of the three games they played this year, she cleared it twice. She had 21 in the beginning of uh, June. The middle of May, 17. In the game she didn't clear it, she only played 21 minutes. But uh, using the same strategy I used today, I should have stuck with it. It's key plays in games. You, you kind of know who the role plays are, who's going to do what. And, uh, and I'm going with it. The stats look good. The matchup looks good. I mean, as you see. Oh, hold on. I got it on head to head. You know, the play is going to perform. They're going to do what they're going to do. Law of averages don't lie. So, I mean, yeah, some days it's hit or miss, you know, something can go wrong and they have an off day. But for the most part, you know, they're going to continue to do it. Numbers don't lie. Uh, sports betting is just like basketball. It is runs. You have your ups and your downs, your peaks and your valleys. So you just got to stick with it and power through it. Uh, wins and losses, same thing. You know, we've had a couple of bad days. You just take it, you move on. You, you figure out what you did, you move on. That's it. You know, I don't do this. I'm not changing nothing. I'm not betting anything extra. I'm not changing my unit size. No. Put that little, little money aside, make up for these couple of days, and pick plays that we still think are going to hit, and we keep it moving. That's all. All right, so we got Kelsey Mitchell, 16 and a half points. That's four plays. Uh, if I see anything else, I'll drop it in the community or I'll pin it in the comments. And uh, when they drop the lines for the second game, I might make a video tomorrow. I might not. I might just shoot reasons why and put it in the community. But either way, I appreciate everyone. It's money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you.